You alright, kid? Where's the cameraman? Hey? Where's the cameraman? Mine? Yeah. Hey, up there. Okay, I need some water. Near my bike. <laughs> go, 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 go. No more from the top to service there. It's just a real. From the. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey everybody we're here in What's serbia up, but before we get stuck into this one don't forget to check out israel and manny's going to show you where to click right now the first hardlands episode so please check it out it's been epic and we are here in Serbia for the second round of the FM Hard Enduro World Championship. Everything looks sick so far. The mountains are great. We've just done the straight rhythm. You're going to see all that soon. But where can they all check it all out? Yeah, definitely. Check it out on Red Bull TV because it's been epic. And hey, guys, this place is unreal. So I'm so excited. I'm back racing and it's going to be an epic week. And Manny was on the mic. <laughs> yeah, guys, I would say we're going to see if we can get three words from everyone what they think about the race. Matt Brew Green, can you give me three words about the race? Wet, trees, <laughs> and uh, fun. It's gonna be wet, it's gonna be slippery, and the prologue is gonna be tricky because Andy made it, so 100%. <laughs> so it's gonna be a good day, I guess. Yes. Mountains, yeah. big hill climbs, slippery. <laughs> <laughs> everyone says slippery, I hope it's not gonna be so slippery. Not sunny anymore. I would probably say something like excitement, nerve wracking, epic race. Everyone's like slippery, wet, things like this. So it was definitely cool to catch up with some riders. I think we're going to have the parade now. Morning, Wado. What's happening? What have you got in your hand there, mate? SA flag, brother. SA flag. <laughs> Black mud guard scraper. Nice little draggers there, I like that. It was an accident, I promise. It was an accident, sorry Stan. Oh, that's nice, that, isn't it? So we're down here at the straight rhythm. The guys are going head to head. The crowds are getting bigger and I can't wait to see this action go down. Billy's on fire, we expected this. Good job, bro. Oh. Are you alright, mate? Good. Looks like we've got something going on over here. Manny's got stuck in on the uh, mic, so I better jump over here. Who's got this one? I have no idea. I have no idea. It's going to be pretty epic, guys. So, we got Billy Bolt at the start line against Alfredo Gomez. Who of you are excited? Oh! Oh! When Big time over the wall, I hope he's alright. <laughs> what a legend, killing it on the mic. Thank you very much for coming out. It's been a blast. Go watch Hardlines on Red Bull TV because it's probably the most epic show on Red Bull TV. Me and Paul are doing a great show. It's definitely pretty epic, so check it out. So we've had epic racing down here at the Straight Rhythm. Billy's took the win, but the racing's about to start tomorrow morning. We're off up into the mountains. The guys have got a big first day and then two more days after that. Yo guys, so first off-road day here in the morning at the X-Cross Challenge. It's a hard enduro rally, guys. So it's literally like three off-road days and the prologue day, which are gonna combine together, together and have like a total time at the end. And that's gonna be the winner. We are racing with two GPSs mounted on the handlebar. We have like one more zoomed in, one more zoomed out. The more zoomed out just to see what is coming up, uh, maybe like a slight left or like a slight right. 
and then the more zoomed in one just to be on the right track and i think paul caught up with mike skinner how to build a gps track and how to build a racetrack in general so let's see what they are saying so we're here in the paddock in serbia round two let's go and check in with mike skinner hi what have you been doing the last three weeks mike we've been in the forest getting the track ready let's go and show, yeah, show us go, what it's all about let's go for a ride eh? all right then how do you actually start plotting a route every race is a little bit different but like generally for example here uh, I came, we turned up, I started riding, basically got on the bike. Um, the local guys who know some of the area, they showed me what they knew. Yeah. And then we kind of just start building on that. The main thing is actually we plot it all using GPS. Yeah. Use these little things. And so we can upload tracks that I draw on Google Earth using these. And then we can download at what we've ridden each day. So you can actually start to make sense and see where you've been. Uh -huh. And the more you ride, you start to make connections. And you say, oh, okay, silver or pros can go there. And then the, the, you know, the hobby, the amateurs can go there. And you start to link it all together. Brilliant. And it becomes like a bit of a, like a, it's like a puzzle, you know, you sort of fitting it all together. And yeah, it becomes, it actually gets really satisfying when it all starts <laughs> to fit together. This is all basically the signs that the, the riders are all following and uh, Skinner's out here putting these out with his team. The riders have also got the GPS, which is a backup and the riders have got to always follow the GPS mm. as That's well. the good thing about the GPS races. For me, yeah. it's like way more relaxing because I know it, even if the marking is completely demarked or something goes wrong, You've got that they backup. can follow the GPS and it'll yeah. get them there eventually. Yeah. So this is what you're following on the, on the ridges because so, obviously they can't tape every, they can't put these, these markers everywhere. Yeah. But this is just so, so we, easy to hang, it's so fast. And what's the red tape then, Skinner? So red tape's wrong way. Yeah. So okay. for example, yeah, you tie it on, tie it on your tree there. Off you go. Yeah. So when you see a big sign like that one, you always get a backup one as well. So if you're an amateur rider and you come in here, you should be turning around right now. Oh, there's rocks underneath. Oh. Oh, 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 coming in hot. Oh, there's <laughs> mess introduction to a downhill. Nice and steady, but as soon as we came into the more closed sections with all the rocks underneath, you can see them all over, it's covered in moss. <sighs> yeah, she picked up speed fast. Okay, P only, oh no, it's a P only. First time I've done that in a while. Oh, he's gonna have to be a rollover. Oh no. Oh. Well, Skinner, thank you very much for showing us around this day three. No There's problem, a Paul. hell of a lot more. The guys have got 100 kilometers a day at least. This guy's been the main man behind all of it with a big team behind him uh, to get this race up and running. So thanks for showing us all the track markers and stuff. And no hope some of you guys who aren't familiar with Enduro and Hard Enduro now get a bit of a feel for what it's all like so yeah, yeah. let's try to get home just started raining so <laughs> we've, neither of us have got jackets so let's ride home and get real cold and we're supposed to be experienced yeah guys we just arrived at the off-road start alfredo are you excited yeah yeah it's gonna be a good day or i hope so let's see it's very rocky it's so loose guys like you can't so imagine yeah. like you just ride and you can't really see it the rock green but it's not yeah. <laughs> We got Graham Jarvis flying. Manny's on his tail. Manny and Graham on a charge here. Zipping through this serious speed. Billy, keep it calm. Interesting section coming into here.
Yes, Manny. Yeah, bro. Take it easy. Yeah, bro. Being super steady on the gap. Yo guys, back in the finish. Tired, definitely tired right now. My pace was pretty good. I was actually pretty happy with my riding for like such a long time. It's the first day when I'm riding so long after the injury. But we made it and stoked. Navigation was pretty dreadful, but luckily Manny was always somewhere near to pull us <laughs> right again because he seems to not work a GPS. I seem to be getting worse as I'm getting older. <laughs> Wow, X Ross really delivered this morning. It got off to a crazy start. Manny was solid all day, did some great work on his GPS. What a stomper of a ride for Manny as well on his first ride back. Good morning, guys. Good morning, off road day number two. We're already pretty tired, if I'm to be honest. How are you feeling, Billy? Tired. Tired and cold. Tired and cold. I'm not sure if Paul is already around, but yeah, maybe we can catch up with him, what he thinks. So we're here at the off-road start. It's actually in a movie set, which is really sick. This is going to be the hardest day of x -Ross so far. Coming up, it's up there now, the back tire's on the rock. Watch the rocks. Rocks are flying everywhere. Wow! Super excited, man. Mm. Nice from Manny, just trying to find the grass on the side, just avoiding the rocks where he can. You okay, Theo? So Alfredo's on a mission. He's got in the gap, guys. The freight train, baby. Because that is the biggest peloton I've ever seen in hard enduro history. Well, this could be one of the wildest sections I've ever seen in hard enduro. Super nice canyon. So we've got Manny coming up. Yeah, bud. Woo. Wade Young's coming in next. Yes, Wade, well done. That was a good move, that. Try and get it on this next one, watch your radio. Yo! Finish. Oh man, it feels so good. Like I'm so so blessed, especially after my long break being not on a bike. It feels so damn good, and I didn't expect anything to come here. So stoked, really stoked right now. Yeah, Graham. Good job, man. How gnarly was the the riverbed before the service? Yeah, it was crazy. The the, the leaves. It looked easy, and then you yeah. just slip into a hole. Well, you probably didn't. But I still did. I, I did. <laughs> I I definitely did. So. The river before the service. Oh. So gnarly, yeah. I was so tired. I was so happy that he organized the water for me. I was like, oh man, I'm I'm done. I'm done. How long is this river? I was like, let's see. Oh, it's just not stopping. Oh man. Good morning, everybody. It's day three at X Ross. The guys have been through the mill for sure, but now they're fully in tune with these mountains out here in Serbia. Manny's out front, he's done an amazing job, he's looking super slick and smooth. Let's see how the day goes, see you all later. Yo guys, good morning. So we're here at Off-Road Day 3, pretty hyped up. How are you doing? A uh, bit better to be honest Manny, but hopefully we survive and today is over. <laughs> and we look forward. Last day guys, it's the last day.
Seo on a mission already. So the guys are on a 30 second gap between each rider. Oh, it's big rocks here. Boys behind me, Teo's got through. A nice little pocket there, they can get the back tire and if you don't get off it first go. Oh! That really does show just how slippery these rocks are. So we're here on the, one of the really slippiest sections of today. It's all really old woodland, the white rock, limestone rock. First riders across them are gonna slick it up real bad. On some really tricky switchbacks here. Ah, <coughs> oh, Paul. You alright, mate? Yeah. So, man, he's got quite a big lead so far. He's stomped this bit. Now it's going to get harder for sure. You can just see how much the tyres dig in. Look, there's nothing in the ground, it's just soil. Up there, deep one. So a bit of practice for us, man. I've got to tune in in two and a half weeks time. Well, Serbia, to me, you've been an absolute pleasure. Can't wait to come back again soon. Look at this beautiful landscape. It's got such a mixed terrain. It's absolutely incredible riding. I'm so tired. Like, guys, you can't imagine. I'm, I'm wasted now. I hope there's no half it coming in more into the finish because I can feel it a lot now. I'm just in cruise mode now. Cruise control and take it easy now into the finish. Good luck, mate. Keep it together. Cheers, man. Cheers. <laughs> good job, Theo. Good, good job. Hard race, huh? Yeah. Hard race. It was. First podium, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And how does it feel? It's I don't know. Good. I still haven't been to the podium. <laughs> I can't even believe it. Like, we literally won Exos Challenge this year and. You know, it's it's such a such a journey for me um, to come here with no expectations, just trying literally to finish the race and now to go home with a win and with 20 points in the championship is is pretty damn good and so stoked. That was X Ross. The race in here was mega. Hope you enjoyed Hardlines episode two. But oh, hang on a minute. Uh, Where's my there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guys, so stoked. I hope you enjoyed um, episode two of Hardlands with Manny and Bolt. And yeah, it was pretty mega. I think the race was insane. Yeah. And you got the win on your first race back. First race back. So stoked well, with my comeback. And it's definitely like a pretty mega, mega race. And yeah, I'm excited already to come back next year. And check out all the in links on the bottom. Red Bull TV. Go and check it out. And guys, we're gonna see us next time at Erzberg. It's live on, so definitely check it out because it's gonna be a pretty epic race. And it's back after three years. Sweet!